please welcome Lawrence Blind. Good evening. Aren't you glad you don't have to go outside to get here? Oh, sorry. So did I. <laughs> Welcome. I'm, I'm thrilled to see all of you here. I, I have been here a few other times before, but uh, not recently. I'm going to try to keep my talking to a minimum because we have so much great music to share with you and we have, I understand, one hour to do it all. So uh, the first selection on the program is actually the longest. This is a piano sonata by Franz Joseph Haydn, written in the year 1794, so just about 18 years after the Declaration of Independence. Um, Haydn wrote this piece for a pianist in London, a female pianist, Teresa Jensen, and he was so enamored with her playing that she became the dedicatee um, of this piece. Um, Haydn uh, was impressed with the pianos that were available in London. They were more powerful than what was in Europe at the time, and so he took advantage of it in this piece. Uh, it has three movements, about six minutes, five minutes, and four minutes uh, for the three movements. And if you listen, you won't have to listen very carefully for this. Haydn plays a lot of tricks, I guess you would call it, on the audience, a lot of sudden pauses in the music, a lot of sudden accents in the music, so I hope you enjoy it, and, and then I will introduce our next performer after you hear the Haydn.
Now that I'm warmed up, <laughs> I'd like to introduce uh, one of my students at the New Mexico School of Music. Uh, his name is Jeffrey uh, Zhuang. And Jeffrey is a 13-year-old and in the eighth grade at Desert Ridge Middle School. Jeffrey, please come up. He's going to perform Chopin's Polonaise in C-sharp minor.
think I'll try to talk from up here. I'm going to move on with some Rachmaninoff A2 Tableau. A2 Tableau, the, the title basically means Picture Studies. Uh, Rachmaninoff didn't give us any clues as to what the pictures might be, so that's up to your imagination for these two pieces, but they are very typical Rachmaninoff, uh, very dense musical texture, melodies flying all over the place, tremendous climaxes uh, spread throughout the pieces. Uh, so these, I believe, were written around the year 1911 or so. Hope you enjoy.
So I would like to introduce another one of my students. His name is Akilin Sankaran. Akilin is only 11 years old, and he's been studying with me a couple of years. Uh, he is going to perform for you Chopin's beautiful Nocturne in B major. Uh, he is fresh off this past weekend. Uh, there was a competition in Albuquerque called the Dennis Alexander Piano Competition. Dennis is a very, very uh, widely known composer, nationwide, internationally. And Dennis has had a piano competition at our school for the last nine years. Uh, Killen entered in his age group and was the first prize winner. So would you please welcome Akilin Sankaran.
noticed on the program, his last name happens to be the same as mine. This is my son, William Blind. <laughs> William is a 12-year-old student at Madison Middle School. He studies composition, music composition, with a well-known uh, New Mexican composer, Michael Malden. And uh, William uh, prepared these next three pieces for a national competition this year, uh, sponsored by the Music Teachers National Association. His pieces were judged first at the state level, then in the southwest region, and then at the national level. And his pieces were selected first place in the nation for um, students in his age group.
the last piece on the program, so that we don't run over here. Uh, very, very well known uh, and amazing piece, the Chopin Ballade in G minor. Chopin wrote four pieces under this title, Ballade. Um, he composed these really not that long after the first piece that you heard on this program, believe it or not. Uh, but they are, seem like light years away in expression and in character. Uh, the Blot is one of my favorites. If you listen carefully, you'll hear how Chopin takes the themes of this movement and treats them in different uh, characters, different guises. Uh, everything from the most gentle to the stormiest. So, Thank you all for coming this evening, and I hope you enjoy Chopin's Ballad in G minor. Thank you. 